It's time for Professor MJ's top pick in the National Hockey League for Thursday, March 30th. I'm also going to give you a couple of leans, so stay tuned until the end. Are you ready? Let's go! My favorite bet is not backed by any of my 10 NHL betting systems, but my own analysis likes it quite a bit. In my humble opinion, the most solid bet in hockey for March 30th goes to the New York Rangers to pull off the mild upset in New Jersey. I made this video one day in advance and right now the best available odds are plus 110 in American format or 2.10 in decimal. It might move one way or another, but that's the current state. Both teams present a similar record and goal differential over the entire season, but it's quite obvious that the Rangers have been playing better hockey recently. Since acquiring Patrick Kane from the Chicago Blackhawks on February 28, the Rangers have posted an excellent 10-3-1 record. During the same time period, the Devils have won 7 of their 15 games which is below 50%. These teams have met three times this year. The Devils won the first meeting, before losing the second and winning the third. I believe the alterning trend will continue with the Rangers coming on top this time around. New York has not had much trouble getting victories in New Jersey. In fact, over the past eight meetings at the Prudential Center, the Rangers hold a 6-2 record. I found it interesting that the last five times the Devils faced a team with a winning record, they have obtained a 1-4 record. Their level of play has really dropped, while the Rangers are red hot. Now, my 10 NHL betting systems also like 5 teams but three of them are huge underdogs, which I prefer to stay away from. That leaves us with a couple of potential plays. The Chicago Blackhawks at home against the Blues, who qualify under the porous defense and the hot scorers strategies, while the Edmonton Oilers are backed by the snapped winning streak system. I consider them as leans, since I have not pulled the trigger yet, but I will continue to dig deeper before deciding if I bet them or not. I just thought I would mention them so that you can incorporate this info into your decision-making process. This is my last day out of the country, so the video quality will get back to normal starting tomorrow. I apologize for the low quality this week, and thank you for sticking around despite this issue. I am still working on finishing up my brand new studio at home and I'm sure you will find the results quite interesting. The baseball season is coming up and as usual I will post a MLB pick every weekday. I hope you will join my baseball betting journey again this year. We made good profit last year over more than 400 bets which is quite an accomplishment. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and become a super subscriber if you also hit the little bell that will allow you to receive an alert as soon as I publish a new video. Subscribe now, my friend!